What's up guys? So uh we started I started last night I started tearing this thing down. I was gonna do it well not tearing it down, but I was gonna do a cam swap in it. And uh got in there, got everything apart, I started taking the cam out, which unfortunately I lost that footage. I've lost a lot of footage. I don't know if something's going on with my phone because that's what I'm recording off of, and for some reason I keep losing a lot of footage. Uh and then it started, stopped recording in the middle of it. I don't know. But anyway, so tonight though we're gonna tear this motor down because I have to get it to the machine shop. Uh, I went to pull the cam out to do a cam swap in this one, and of course the cam bearing's bad, or spun, or whatever. Honestly, I think it shrunk. It looks like it shrunk because it doesn't look spun. It just looks like it shrunk down, and it got stuck on the cam. But anyway, we're going to tear this thing down and uh, get it ready to take it to the machine shop. So, get at it. <laughs> So this is where we're at. Um, I haven't had a lot of video time lately. I know I haven't posted much lately, but I've been, you know, I had some family stuff going on I had to deal with. Um, you know, I had to go down south to see family for a little bit, deal with that. And then, um, you know, I've just been trying to do little stuff here and there, but I don't, some of it's recording worth and some of it's not really worth recording. And then I did a whole bunch of other work and <laughs> You know, I didn't wind up getting that recorded because somehow it got deleted. I don't know how it got deleted, but it did. Um, but anyway, so where we're at is um, the bed I dropped off at Robert's shop, uh, Precision Body and Paint here in Jeff. He's going to go ahead and finish the bed for me. Before I dropped it off, I pretty much had both sides sand down to bare metal. Um, and But he's, you know, I dropped it off there. He's just going to go ahead and finish it for me. It's going to be way easier. Um, but anyway, I got a crap load of parts, um, you know, radiators and I got my radiator in, I got my digital gauges, I got, um, 
valve springs, cam. I mean, just I, I just got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, whole bunch of parts I ordered uh, that we're gonna we had to put on, but I went and bought another motor and uh, paid like nine hundred bucks for it. Um, went to do a cam swap in it, and then kind of find out that when I went to pull the cam out, the cam bearing came out with it. This is the second block I've had now that's done this. Um, I can't even I couldn't even tell because I didn't hear it running, but I spun it by hand, spun freely, didn't have no problems, didn't make no noises by hand. Obviously, you're not going to hear any noise by hand, but still. Um, but uh, yeah, I wound up having a bad cam bearing in it, so that's that was a nine hundred dollar motor that was pretty much wasted nine hundred. Um, it was from a trustworthy person. He may not even knew that it had a span, spun cam bearing in it. He said he bought the motor and transmission together. So he just wanted the transmission is all he wanted. But anyway, I need to say anyway, it doesn't matter. It's got a spun cam bearing. So tonight we stripped it down. I'm going to take it into uh, the machine shop in Columbia. Um, and they're going to look at it and tell me what needs to be done. Um, and we'll just kind of go from there. It depends on how much it costs. I don't really want to spend a lot of money on rebuilding this thing. i got four months to get this truck going. So I don't want to get too much farther behind. And this puts me behind again. So anyway. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I lost a lot of footage. That's why I haven't posted anything up in a while. Um, but we'll get in there. And I think I'm, I should be able to start rolling around on posting videos again. But, you know, it's holidays. So things are kind of getting slow again. With it being the holidays, uh, I'm not gonna get a lot posted again, obviously. But hopefully, beginning of next year, um, I'll start slamming out videos. You know, we'll start rolling on this truck again. Uh, tonight, I did pick up. Tonight, I did pick up a really good score. Um, marketplace. This guy was selling this dash. Bought this dash tonight, and let me tell you why. That is a hell of a. I paid a hundred bucks for this. This is the bad spot there, and then it's got a bad spot over here. A little crack right there. But other than that, this thing is like mint. It is perfect, and it is hard to find them that way. And I only gave a hundred bucks for that, so that is a steal for me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what anybody else thinks, but for me, that's a hell of a deal because a brand new one's like three something. So I was pretty stoked about that. Most of them are pretty bad shape, so I was pretty excited I got this one for that good of a deal. But anyway, hopefully my luck's turning around. I'm hoping on that. Um, I've had a string of bad luck like lately with lately with the videos being deleted and. Um, you know, now another motor with another span cam, spun cam bearing, you know, I had to go down south for some family stuff. I'm not going to get into, you. um, you know, just, I've had a lot going on. I've had a really, a lot of bad, bad luck lately, but hopefully my luck's turning around with finding that dash and, uh, we'll see, but here's the motor. Got a strip down a bare block. The only thing still in it's the cam. Uh, I couldn't get it out cause I got a cam bearing stuck in there. So that's that. We're just gonna drop it off the machine shop like that. Let them clean it. Try to pull the cam out. Tell me where we need to go from there. I don't want to spend like fifteen to two thousand dollars building this thing. I don't just want to spend that much money trying to get this thing built. So I'm hoping it's just gonna be a quick, easy fix. And I can just put a rebuild kit in it and be done. Um, if not, then I'll probably just sell that block and the other block, the other six O block, both with spun cam bearings. I'll probably just sell them both and then use that money towards another one that I can hear running. This time I won't buy anything unless I hear it running. So. Um, but anyway, that's that. Um, as soon as we get this uh, motors dropped off and figured out, I'll let you guys know what we're doing on that. But I like to get. Um, I'm waiting on parts come in for this digital gauge cluster. Once those come in, then we can kind of put those together. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but for now, we're just gonna take this off to the machine shop and get it looked at, and then see what's going on. And I'll let you guys know from there. And then once we get that kind of figured out, I want to start pulling the truck in and pulling the cab off the frame. Um, you know, run new gas lines, new brake lines, check all that stuff, get the frame cleaned up, painted, um, put new cab bushings in, you know, things like that. So, but uh, anyway, the, hopefully the bed should be done in the next, I think, week, maybe two weeks. I don't know. I'm not rushed. I'm not, I told him no rush because I'm not in a rush for it, but I'm hoping he'll get that done soon. Um, the rear fenders are pretty trash. I think I'm just going to want to buy new ones. Um, it's going to take forever to fix these and time is just really not on my side at this moment and nor is money to be honest with you, but time definitely not. So I think I might wind up buying new ones, um, but we'll see. But anyway, just kind of give you guys a little update. Um, 
you know, there's a video on, you know, I have a little bit of footage of me tearing down that motor. Um, but yeah, so anyway, there's that. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, we'll get this posted up and then hopefully I'll have another video for you guys by the end of the week again. Um, I'm going to try to get this one tonight and get this thing posted tomorrow. So we'll see. But anyway, I want to say thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for being patient. And, um, you know, if you guys got any advice, uh, you know, any buddies that are, you know, that might want the motor or motors or anybody that do machine work also. I mean, I got a buddy that I'm taking it to, but if you know anybody that's got, you know, any extra parts or whatever, I don't know, even a running motor or something, just let me know. Um, comment below or get a hold of me on Facebook or something. But for now, I'm going to call it a night and uh, appreciate you guys watching and, uh, you know, Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.